to our tiny house. Um, 350 square feet of tiny living. Uh, you're entering in the foyer or living room or family room or guest room. Pulls out. Couch pulls out to a about less than a double bed. <laughs> and then it reclines back. Um, couch is included, but if you don't want it, that's okay too. Um, TV also included, as well as the storage, considering we kind of found the right size for everything to fit the space. Um, if you move on toward breakfast nook. What's that? <laughs> This is our in-floor heating system. It's heated? Yes, it's powered by the, our electric. And there are two units that heat the front and back of the house. This bamboo flooring is heated? Wow. <laughs> yes, it is. So you'll set it here. You can put on like a whole auto system and everything. Um, the table, the breakfast nook, does collapse down for when traveling. Um, as, and has been reinforced um, to make sure it can withstand a little bit of a lean, but... Um, ideally just for meals and such. If we move on to the staircase as well as the storage, the stair comes in and out. It's needed. like it's not even there. <laughs> and then we have storage, which we kind of did his and her closets for different things, knickknacks and such. I hung like my winter jackets in here and then I put board games on this side and then shoes in here. We're kind of in the process of getting in and out so things are mostly empty um if we move along there's the same exact storage on this side we kind of use this for more like kitchen stuff as well as um like irons and steamers as well a fire it was, extinguisher it does come standard with a fire extinguisher we <laughs> moving along to the kitchen uh we have a bunch of extra storage we put in that we found was just more functional for us comes with the mini split as well heat and ac all powered by the remote um there's auto settings fan settings um all sorts of self-clean features as well electrically powered electrically powered we do have an oscillating fan above it has oh. a setting to both sorry turn on without oscillation or oscillate back and forth so texas summers are quite hot we use this feature quite a bit just to get the airflow moving stop oscillation and then turn her off. Um, we did get custom blinds and window features. Just this is, these are pretty blackout. Um, the sizing for the Octon window was a bit challenging, but these work really well and all come with the house. Mm-hmm. Tell me about the kitchen. Kitchen, small but mighty. <laughs> We have a standard, a little bit smaller than a standard fridge. Um, it has all the things we need to be cleaned. Looks like a fridge. Just a fridge, yep. And Sorry. a freezer. And a freezer. Cool. Yeah. Um, moving along to our upper storage, we've used it for pots, pans, blenders, as well as baking equipment and such. Um, our cooking stove, we do a propane cooktop and oven, um, full-size burners, different var varieties that I'm going to turn on. Oven's a little bit smaller than a standard, but it works for like a standard um, bake sheet. Um, there's a little storage nook underneath the steps. We kind of use it as our catch-all. Sink, farmhouse sink, beautiful window, spice cabinet. We do have an one extended, I don't know what you call that. It's a faucet. Faucet that does move though. Um, our pantry, which I think is very functional. Um, three shelves up here, no drawers. And then down here we have the sliding drawers that are also um, slow. What is it? They they don't slam. And they don't. They, you have to pull them to get them out. So when you're driving, they don't rattle against anything. So much storage. Yeah, come along here. We have our breaker box as well as extra storage. We kind of made this our closet for hanging stuff there. Yep. And then storage for any cleaning supplies. We do have this really cool feature. It's a door on a radius. Not many people 
So it's a barn door, but it's on a radius? Yes, sir. How'd they do that? The builder actually split. <laughs> I have to continue my story now. Split the door and actually put in little privacy. Um, I'm making a mess, I'm sorry. On the other side, you can see the privacy little, um, what is this called? Elastic kind of distance. I don't know what I'm saying. Moving on. They can clip that part out. I'll start over. Ready? The bathroom. <laughs> uh, kind of similar farmhouse sink style. Is very farmhouse. We have the option to put in a washer dryer combo. Um, the hookups are there. We opted to use it as storage space considering we had a laundromat in town. But um, that was our next step. So that's something that's an option. Counter space. A lot of counter space for the bathroom. Stand up shower. Very large, kind of built onto the tongue of the trailer. So we did get a little extra space here, which is nice. And we've had more than enough space along with a extended movable faucet. Shower head. Shower head, sorry. Toilet. And extra storage. The storage bins will stay with the house. Um, this is where we kind of put vitamins and our little first aid kit and such. <laughs> Moving on, I'll take you up. There are two lofts in this tiny house. Um, one being kind of storage and exit to our deck, outdoor deck, and the other for the bedroom. So let's go on up. <laughs> So I'm about 5'6", <coughs> and I can hinge at the hips comfortably. Um, my husband's about 6 foot, and he can hinge even uh, just as comfortable, but a little bit more squatted. I tend to move around on my hands and knees and whatnot, but we store all of our camping gear and stuff that we use on and off or more regularly, and then there are options to put like a twin bed up here this way. If you had guests, um, that would just be another option. I will show you. Did you tape it up? Okay. Want me to go up? Nope. Okay. We'll show them the patio from the outside. Yes, but you can exit the patio from here. It's not very difficult just to open both doors. They both lock and such. And now I'll have Blake go up to the loft. Give me the phone. Uh, you don't want it? Nope. Then maybe I'll go up. Okay. These are the living quarters. As I said, it kind of pitches in the middle, so you get a little bit more height sometimes, but we have, this is a queen bed. We did the math. I think we, we could definitely fit a king, but it'll be like wall to wall. Um, we have USB outlets on both sides, light switches, as well as the overheads, both access accessible from the um, beds, as well as the egress window and blinds that came with. So that's a larger window we open. Um, we might need a good breeze. Then we have all of our cabinets. These are pretty large. Um, we were able to fit his and hers left and right and we got around pretty well. So there's that and then all the hanging storage throughout the house. So functional. So functional. We do have the features of the LED extra lights up top, which let me kick them on. Oh, you can't really tell it's too bright.